Hello and welcome to Ben's Beer Reviews. It is Easter, the holiest day of the year, which means we are going to do nothing relating to the church whatsoever. I'm not going to review a Trappist beer. Instead, we're going to review a beer I heard is pretty good. It is Firestone Walker's Double Double Barrel Ale. Not a quadruple barrel ale, just a double double. double. Yeah. Double, um, double barrel, barrel so ale, ale. The story behind the confusing name is that the mainstay in the uh, Bay Area of Firestone Walker, they're from roughly there, uh, is their double barrel ale, which is a British extra special bitter, which is fermented in whiskey casks or, or in casks, not just aged. Uh, this is the amped up version, so it's like, I guess the double bastard would be the nearest comparison um, of it. It, it's double the recipe, it's once again fermented in uh, casks, but it's also aged in casks. I've heard it's pretty sweet, and uh, it comes in an awesome box, which I left in the room, but it once again has tasting notes on it, like Sukapa. I've heard it's like a less... It's like Sukapa Light, which is fine. Sukapa had a lot Sukaba going on. Sukapa Light leaves a lot of room for <laughs> Yeah, um, see how let's take off the foil. Uh, I really dig Fires and Walker bottles. They're very handsome. Uh, They're bringing sexy back. They are bringing sexy back. They've been beaten to bringing sexy back by several years, but they're still trying, and that's what matters, I guess. Alright, so right away, it is essentially a kind of copper color. I like, like this. Roll like mahogany, a bit of red. Much lighter than Tsukaba, though. By, by a lot. By a lot. By a lot. Uh, very, very small head dissipates very quickly. Some large bubbles are on the edge of the glass, but uh, from the top, it is basically nothing there anymore. Well, it's because it's 12%. Yeah. So, it, it, it's, it's a big boy. It wouldn't boy. have much of a head. Uh, the rest of the specs are the original gravity are 28.4 degrees Play-Doh. Final gravity is 3.8 degrees Plato, so it's lost a lot of sugar. A lot. Uh, 29 IBUs, which would be like understandable for like a Bach or a Marison or something like that. It'd be a bit high for a Marison, but uh, it's less than you'd find like in a Pilsner. Or at least a good Pilsner. But yeah, so uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. Want to get into the aroma? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> it smells kind of boozy. It smells boozy, but I think the first thing that hits you always, like, obviously right away is the barrel, barrel characteristic. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> straight away, this is very barrel forward, uh, which is great. It, it smells awesome. You got like lots of uh, toasted coconut, that uh, kind of butterscotch, caramel, toffee. Oak, slight charredness, but not like a roastiness from the grain, just like a char. Like, um, the best example of charredness would be like in aged uh, Chardonnays. Like, it cuts right through because it's such a white wine. White wine. It, it wouldn't have, you can't roast grapes you at can. all, actually. You, I mean, <clears throat> you could. You wouldn't make very good wine. Yeah, you do get a lot of booziness. It does have a kind of more classic, I guess, uh, very, very aged American barley wine note to it. Yeah. And it has like a kind of candied cherry, uh, like, like uh, if you age an American barley wine, not super long, but just long enough, so that, like the hops are just kind of dying out. Uh, when we had, I think, uh, Old Ruffian by Great Divide. It was definitely in this area. And uh, mm -hmm. Killer Penguin by Avery, I think. I think Avery does Killer Penguin. It was like in a kind of, oh, uh, like, almost like a maraschino cherry type, that nose. Um, I mean, the note, like, not like a lot of pear, not like a lot of dark, it's like right in the center, just kind of cherries. Not sour cherries, but very, very sweet candied cherries. All right, let's get to the flavor.
Very smooth. Very smooth. Definitely not as aggressive as Tsukawa. Not even remotely. You do get, like, on, now like on the back end, I, I'll i get to the front end in a second. Just It just stood out to me, like, right as I spoke. Um, I read the back end, a lot of toffee, a lot of butterscotch. It reminds me as, it like... It tastes very much of butterscotch. Yeah, it reminds me of, like, a less aggressive version of, uh... Southern Chard by Stone. Okay. Southern Chard by Stone is a bit deeper of a beer. Um, this is a bit more, a bit more relaxed. Um, Southern Chard was a one-off that I I hope it wasn't a one-off. They've actually had a few vintage of this. It was the first time it was available this year. It was aged double bastard in whiskey casks, and it was like butterscotch on toffee on butterscotch on biscuit. It was just like thick, thick, thick sweetness. Um, this is like a lot of sweetness up front. Like, pretty much exactly medium mouthfeel. Um, you could do like a sugar loss in your tongue, like on the air, your lips, certainly. It, um, <clears throat> just because of how malty it is, and mm -hmm. The fact that it has like no IBUs. Yeah. It it actually is kind of reminding me of some Wee Heavies. Yeah. It, or it, it has like Wee Heavies. You expect them to be a lot heavier, but they end up just slightly heavier than this. Yeah. In terms of like yeah. the way that they taste. It also reminds me of um, a more aggressive, like a lot more aggressive version of a Fuller's Vintage Gel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's just very subdued, very enjoyable. I don't get, like, a lot of the, uh, classic... It doesn't taste as much, like... British notes? It, it doesn't taste as much like a special bitter as you, as I thought it would. Yeah, I, I, I thought that it would have, like, super, super walnut. I like, thought like, it would like be just more hard. on the, like, nut brown... Just... I, 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 I like, taste more brown. I do get like a certain like British yeast characteristic in the back end, like like almost like on a burp, pretty much. <laughs> um, well, I've yet to burp on it, so yeah. Um, New tasting criteria: you have to burp in order to fully appreciate. I mean, your beer why, why not? Really? I mean, besides, it's obnoxious, terrible manners, rude. Um, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um. Yeah, like, it creates, like, a slickness on the tongue. Not, not a whole lot of orange, just, like, coconut, toffee, butterscotch. Uh, a bit of, I guess, that kind of cherry you get in some Asian American barley wines. Um, oh! Charlie Shaw mentioned that when we had a Fuller's Vintage Ale together, that it tasted kind of like a rye. This doesn't... I, I get, like... A slight rye spiciness. Not not well, not like it's a rye beer, not like the dryness Maybe. you get. See, I'm I'm hesitant to say that it's reminiscent of a rye. I can see where you get a little bit of that spice coming from. Um it might be the barrel. There, there's a little bit in the back, but I think that it's partly just the alcohol content combined yeah. with the barrel. I don't okay. it doesn't have that, that dry no, it is. It does not like rye. The, rye beers, especially like a rye PA or whatever, can feel incredibly spicy, incredibly dry. Like leave you water with it. <laughs> like um, I need more beverage to go with my beverage. But I mean, like vanilla certainly is in there. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, so much butterscotch. Though. So much butterscotch. This is really just butterscotch's show. Um, I really dig this though. I like, yeah. I like this one in Tsukawa. I, I, yeah. Um, I have no idea what we gave Tsukawa. I gave it, I think, a 93. You gave it a 92, I think. Okay. I'm gonna go 95 on this. It's, like, really, really enjoyable. Like, if I had a cigar right now, or this was, like, after a meal. It, um... I mean, again, this is due to the alcohol content and the fact that, like,
All right, um, sorry for that. We asked 10 minutes because we were uh, taking our time. While we were gone, we were uploading the first segment, uh, we noticed, or Josh noticed, that it has like some brandy notes to it. I don't know if I'd even jump straight to brandy, but it had kind of reminiscent of like a, a light fortified wine. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it, it also has sort of like a golden raisin type thing, like a, a dried fruit, but it it's not really on like the date. No, kind of thing. no, no. It, it, it's I wouldn't like, even say like your your run of the mill raisin. No, but it, like like it, it's not like dried apricot, but like it is like a certain dried fruit. I just can't exactly say what fruit it is. Um, but it is very enjoyable. Yeah, it's pretty. It is, tasty. It's pretty pretty swanky. What would you give this? Um, yeah. Uh, See, I, I feel like I need to give it a higher grade than the uh, the Sukaba. Okay. Because I already said that I liked it better than the Sukaba. Yeah. Uh, so I'll go with like a 93. Um, it, I think it's a, a very good beer. Like it, it's an excellent beer. I don't know if it's exactly what I myself would go out of my way for. It. It's definitely more on the sipping. Like I wouldn't go for this every night. That would be yeah. stupid. Um, but like for a special occasion. Yeah. If I was like hanging out like with a friend, like with some cigars, I was like, hey, it's early summer. We just graduated college. Which could happen. Um, this would be a really good option. Or if I was like hanging out with like two friends by a fire. At night, like in, in okay, late fall, <laughs> late fall, late fall. You like to live dangerously. Ooh, yes. Oh, it's cold. Huh? It's cold. Um, like get that twelve percent watch beer in you and Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. This would be with a fire, with a fire, outside. I was thinking inside. Okay. Was this it sitting outside? Don't worry about it. That was stupid. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, that was foolish. Don't be a fool. Crappy tool. Um, Stay in school. Could be anything from Ben Wilder. They uh, reuse that quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, tasty, tasty beer. All right, so this has been this has been Ben's beer reviews. That's a, quite a bit of B E. All right, so ninety five from me, ninety three from him, and we'll see you next time. Bam. Put you on the flip flop later. later.